and butter in this container right here, okay? And I just melted the butter and put the brown sugar in it and I stirred it with this little mini whisk that I've got. This wonderful for sauces and gravies and hot cocoa or anything you want to incorporate that's dry into a liquid. I mean, it'll whip it on in there. Um, I've got pastry, a silicone pastry brush. I'm going to brush this on the top. Let me tell you how long I ended up cooking them. I did them for 10 minutes at 425. My oven's the LG pretty new one, uh, double oven. Um, and it's pretty temperature true at 425. But then the last two minutes, I baked them a total of 12 minutes, I turned on my convection feature, which is nothing but a fan that circulates the hot air. And it just makes it nice and brown and pretty on the top. You don't have to do that. If you don't like your biscuits this brown, don't bake them that long. If your oven's not as hot as mine, bake them a little longer. The first batch, you can tell. All right. Now, the corners out to the edge are going to be a little darker at the bottom. My mother loves crispy, darker biscuits on the bottom, so this would be my mother's. I am more of an inside brownie kind of girl. So, I want mine brown and done, but I don't want it crispy. I like mine soft. So, right in between is here is one that was in the middle. I've already cut it. And what... If you cut it like that and flip it up, I've got some, y'all do, do not kill me. I do have country ham, but I have not soaked it out and I've not cooked it and I'm just not doing that today. I love the deli meat black forest ham. It's good stuff. It tastes really good and I'm just going to plop some of that in there. Okay. And do not burn yourself. So I've got that in there. I'm going to put it on this. Typically, you take this to the table, and people can eat it with a knife and a fork, or if they're a little cooler, you can hold it with your hands, but it's hot right now, and I don't want to burn myself. And it's my biscuit, and I touched it with my fingers, and that's okay, as long as you've got clean fingers, and I've been constantly washing mine. Um, some people get on people using their fingers in a video. Girl, please, you cook in your house like you want to. All right, so, this is the true test. Take that, Bob. Yeah. But anyway, um, just kidding. I love you. Um, excuse my hero for eating in restaurants. Let's see. Let me tell you about this biscuit. It's soft. It's candied yam flavored. Mm. It's yummy. It's tender. And if you don't want it that sweet, don't put on the brown sugar and butter. Just don't. But this is for the holidays. And I go all out, girl. All out and young man. So, um, yeah. These are my candied yam biscuits. And they're very good. If I do say so myself. And I hope you bake them for your family and let me know how they turn out for you. And make your own adjustments like you want to. I don't care. It's your biscuit. It's your kitchen. This is the way you can cook live because you can do this. Okay? It's not hard. I'll post the recipe in the um, section on the bottom. Please like this video and subscribe. That's how we're going to keep on doing these videos. And I hope you enjoy it. God bless you. Bye-bye.